Boys, today I get to share with you one of the coolest things that I've ever seen offshore. You can read the title. It is, it, it's as cool as it sounds. Hand feeding marlin, hand feeding yellowfin tuna. I'm not even gonna waste any time. We're just gonna get right into the video. Just for a little bit of backstory, we got to this rig after running for three hours. The second we stopped, we had a 600 pound blue marlin come right up to our props and check him out and figure out how he was trying to get to eat him. He scared the heck out of Alex and I, but we quickly got to work to try to catch him. Hope you enjoy it. Subscribe if you haven't yet. I don't see him anymore. Put the bow back in gear. That's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. Dude. Heads up. He's deep. Yeah. Here he is, here he is, here he is. He's gonna eat my horn, Bailey. He ate, he ate. Let's see if we can double hook him. Okay. Got him, Joe. Got him. Oh yeah, blue marlin on, baby. Tom, watch out. Well, this is a cool start. We gotta hook them to get them out of here. All right. What you got them on? A hundred. Don't, do not fall in that line, bro. You're breaking in there. Yeah, keep your videos going, guys. Once, once you know, you're going to start doing Okay, he's going right towards John. Going right towards John. John, the model's coming right at you. Watch out. He's coming at you. He's going right under your boat. He's under your boat. Go, we got to drive on this we fish, buddy. Hook. All right, y'all, watch out. Watch out. <laughs> we got to drive, dude. I know. I got to move these guys. There, is that him right there? There he is. He's jumping right there. He's jumping off our bow. That's a big one. Look at him go. He's gut hooked. No, that's the one we got hooked. Oh, he's off. Oh, that's the one we hooked. That was cool. That's about all you want to get out of them anyway. That was sick. Wow, that was a really good, cool start to the trip. That was amazing. He was gut hooked anyway, is that? That was gonna be tough. All right, well, that was awesome. That was sick. That's worth the entire trip right there. Oh yeah, chase us off. That was insane, guys. Do like a 10 piece set. Okay. Alrighty, Vernon. Everything's nice and smooth. Make sure that you don't bring the rods up too much and make sure you stay tight on them. And we're doubled. Don't thumb it, don't thumb it. Let him run, let him do his thing. All right, look. We're gonna get you all the way up here. Look all the way to the front. I'm not sure if this is a tuna. Here's a barracuda by the boat. Go what? This rod. Got it. Give me this rod for a second. We got one back here. Oh, we got another one. Oh. Take this rod. I gotta take this. We're about to lose this fish. Give me this rod for a second. Gaff. Hand me a gaff. Hand me a gaff. Someone grab a knife out the back rack. Or the, the back rod holder. You gotta back the drag off on your horse. 
We're about to lose both these. Yeah. Put the graph down. Come on, we got to unwrap them. Pick a direction and go. Pick a direction and go. Okay, I don't feel you anymore. All right, go all the way to the back. Are you about ready to reel in? All ready? Keep on reeling. Right, I'm gonna get you over, over. You're under, you're over. I'm under? You are over. You are over, you're under. Right now. Are we marking fish, yo? Yeah. All right, take a net pull. Go for go for go for All the way to the bow. Oh. Lift, now drop and reel, drop and reel, drop and reel. All right, we're gonna get him right here. Lift, drop and reel, drop and reel. You turn the handle. Nice. As most of you know, sports are a gigantic part of my life, and I will always be a big sports guy from my days back coaching college football. In this video, I'm very, very happy to announce that I've teamed up with DraftKings, baby. This weekend, welterweight champions Errol Spence Jr. and Terrence Crawford will put their world championships on the line in a showdown for the title of the undisputed champ. Who do you think will come out on top? Well, put your money where your mouth is and check out today's video sponsor, DraftKings. Right now on DraftKings, new customers using promo code JOVTFISHING and bet just $5 on this weekend's fight will receive $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's right, just $5 and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. And check out the app. They have tons of side bets, props, and other things you can bet on for this fight. And if sports betting is not yet available in your state, don't worry. You can still join in all the fun with DraftKings Daily Fantasy, where they give huge cash prizes up for grabs on any sport. Just download the DraftKings Sportsbook app now. New customers use promo code JOVTFISHING and bet $5 this week and get $150 in bonus bets instantly. That's promo code JOVTFISHING, only at DraftKings Sportsbook. If you think you have a gambling problem, call 1-800-GAMBLER. I was on that bait. We got one. Nice, so. All right, take this rock. But thanks for listening attentively. Yeah. Keep on real, keep on real, keep on real, real, real. Is he? Make sure he's real on that line evenly. All the way back. He's just getting chased by that Marlon? Oh yeah, he's still on. Oh wow, that's something else. Okay, I'm ready. Alright, yeah. You ready? Yep. You still there? Yep. Yeah. Whew! He's under the boat. Here, walk up towards me a little bit. Yeah, Blue Marlin is after him. Just reel till he stops. Oh, he. Mm hmm. Oh, yeah. I got him. Uh oh. Cars are hot right now. Who wants this one? He does. I got it. Oh, yeah. Nice one. Nice. <laughs> nice fish, gang. Hey. Oh, boy. Hey. Nice fish. Monster. Drop and reel. Drop and reel. Nice work. All right. No, I'm trying to be like you, but I'm just trying to do it, baby. Come help. 
Heads up. I got you. Fine, he's gonna make us both look stupid. <laughs> so what do you get for working on a party boat for seven years? I just threw it behind it. Yeah, right behind the corner of his mouth, you just roll it out. What's that? Second place is just the first place loser. Correct. Sword. <laughs> yes. Nice, gang. All right. Mmm, picked and drop. Got it again. <laughs> All right, we got one on, guys. No better fish. All right, who wants this one? Come on, come on. Someone take it, someone take it. Keep it tight, keep it tight, keep it tight. There they go. Nice. He's on, huh? Double. Ah, get tight, so. Ah, ah. Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah. He's on. Get it right. Get it tight. All right. All right. We got to get these fish on the same side. All right. Joe, turn the boat to the starboard. Yeah. Oh, a little bit. We're tripled. You're good. We're tripled up, boys. Sorry, I got bit. <laughs> all right, who wants this one? All right, you gotta walk yours all the way to the bow. Turn the, wheel, turn the wheel back to left. Who wants this one? Oh uh, yeah, you stay right, here. stay right here. Someone take this one. Come on, Vernon. All the way. All right. Yo, you direct traffic. We only got one ride left. All right. All right, come down here. Come down here. Let me see your ride. All right, you're gonna go to the center of the boat now. All right. Come on, Vernon. Now the time to smoke a cigarette, Vernon. Get the line off the boat. Heads up. Heads up. Yep. All right. Keep them coming. Keep them coming. Where's that gaff? All right. I need the gaff now. Hold on. Back, back, back. Step back. Okay. Can you see that gaff? Nope. Oh, nice. Yes. Open me up. Got him? Yeah. Can you deal with this thing? I can't get the hook out of it. Yeah. <laughs> Alright, well, that's one way to get a backlash out. <laughs> nice, Vernon. Gotcha. Ooh. Don't feel bad. He does this to me. He does? Mm -hmm. where I can't get a hook out and he walks over and looks at it and just falls out the fish. But this one's getting a okay. <laughs> Nice. Are we marking anything, Joe? Uh, yes. I don't know if we need to mark anything. Just throw it out. <laughs> He's still got some fight in him. Keep on reeling. Yeah, it's this one right here. Big lift. That's what I'm talking about. Yeah. Hold up. Oh, oh. I got it. What's going on, bro? We're all tangled in this one. No, we're not. 
Yeah, we are. We're tangling in that one. Alex, can you grab that rod? Oh, yeah. Oh. Okay, follow me. See this tuna right here? That tuna is about to ruin my day. There's a backstory to this. Two things. One, our boat has a washdown pump system that does not work. It is a weird wiring issue. It's not like switch or the pump. It's something in the middle, something that we need a real boat electrician to look at and fix. So what that means is if we put a tuna on the deck and then unhook it and then put it in the box, it usually leaves a giant blood trail in the box. Alex was getting annoyed with me unhooking the fish on the deck instead of just in the fish box. So he asked me to put the fish in the box which is full of water and live tuna. And another thing that Alex and I get comments on a lot is that we talk to each other like we're married. One is because we're really, really good friends. Two, we're both captains and we aren't offended when one of us asks each other to do something or tells each other the other thing. It actually helps us fish way, way better. It really helps us be completely transparent with each other. And if we don't like something, we're gonna tell the other person. And usually what the other person is saying is something that we should do. And that's why we just, fish super well together. But this is pretty funny. Watch me get my day ruined. <laughs> hey! Tuna. <laughs> Yay! Put them in the box first, Alex. Make sure you do that, all right? That's why I always Shut up. You guys are doing good. Teamwork's real important. Wow. All right, guys, you want to want to start bringing buckets of water up here, guys? Thank you. Oh my God, I'm soaked. I thought the tuna like broke your hand or something. I broke the gaff. Broke the gaff. Mm -hmm. How? It's a fish box. I better take that one. Yeah. All the way to the mouth. Can I? Yeah, sure. Yeah. Same thing. Nice work. Same thing. Oh. Oh yeah. Nice. Come on. Woo. All right. Hot rod. Okay, Kyra, right. you're up. Boy, this guy is slinging. The cars are hot today, boy. Nice. All right, close it. Nice. All right. Nice work. Keep on reeling. More cranks. More cranks. Keep on reeling. Down. Nice. Nice. Yeah, it sucks. Oh, man. <laughs> nice. So, uh, 10 or 11. I think it's 11. This little bucket. They can't see me. That's really cool. Yeah, Is that a rock fish? No, it's a trigger fish. Was that one your bait? Come on. Marlin? No, those are tuna. He got gotcha. you. Oh, he's got it. Nice. <laughs> On the wire. Yes. And we are doubled. All right. This is called domination. Are you ready? Who's ready? Speak up now. All right, who wants this one? Oh, it's still on here. Oh, yeah. Nice. All right. Nice work, gang. What's that mean? Careful with the high stick. Point the rod really, really high and okay. put a big bow in it because it'll uh, break the rod. Okay. Keep on reeling. Y'all got any trash up front? Nope, keep on reeling. Keep on reeling. Need some cranks. Got it, Brian. Or Jared. Hit the drag. 
Oh, this is a heck of a bite of fish he's giving us. Oh, that's a big one. All right. And, and we got him. Go, nice work, gang. Go, that's our pal some bait. I got him. Nice. All right, one more, one more little bit of it. I went up, so I have it pointing straight up, straight up. Yep. All right, you got it. Nice. All right. All righty. Oh, Marlin flag down. Oh yeah. That's a good day, boys and girls. Yeah. Fire making it quick. We got copper to music, but. Seven more nine. All the way down. Nice and steep. Cut. Here's your tuna one. See you in the kitchen. All right, hello, boys and girls. It is days later, and I am going to enjoy this wonderful piece of tuna. I got a lot going on. We've had a couple days off servicing my reels, putting new grease in them. You know, you take care of your stuff, it takes care of you. And uh, that also means feeding yourself a very good food. First of all, most important thing about tuna. What is it kids? Yeah, never ever rinse it off with water, touch water on it, touch ice on it. It destroys the meat, washes it out and makes it gross and mushy. So if you got to clean it, like there's a couple scales left on here. Um, what you need to do is just tap it off with a paper towel. Just get whatever scales and whatever off. And also you just to dry it and get all that, you know, nastiness off of it. I stored this in um, wrapped in paper towel because it was a small piece and I knew I was going to eat it uh, soon. So there you go. Nice and dry. There's actually still a couple scales on here, but you can just pick that off. I'm just going to make this nice and easy. I don't know. I'm just eating lunch. I'm editing right now. I just posted my video of us doing daytime and nighttime sword fishing. If you haven't seen that, you should probably watch that at the end of the video. It's going to pop up for you. Nice and convenient. Also, other thing with tuna, obviously there's still bloodline on this. The tip that I would like for all of you to know about that is at the cleaning table, sometimes the meat is just going to get a little bit warm. It's just part of it. When that happens, you tend to take off more meat than you mean to. My tip with this is right before you cook it, put your fish in the freezer for like 15 minutes, maybe 20 minutes, then take a super sharp knife. And then that's the easiest way to get the most efficient cut of that bloodline out. Oh yeah, here's the knife I'm gonna use, by the way. I've begged the sword guys to get a hunting style gun grip knife, uh, just because it, this thing like sells itself. It's a gun grip knife. Uh, it's made, the handle is made out of G10. Let's open this bad boy up. This is a five inch sword utility knife. It is very quickly becoming my most used knife for everyday activities. So, talk to the sword guy forever about doing some hunting style knives. Uh, and boom, ask and ye shall receive. This is G10. This is the same stuff they make gun grips out of. These things are awesome. I bleed all my fish with this, as you saw earlier in this video. And it's I, I, I use this knife probably even more than my fillet knife, which is saying a lot. And if you want more info to this, it's gonna be below, as, along with all of the other sword knives. So, super cool tuna, super sharp knife. And you're just gonna, real nice like, shave this off. If you keep this on, it's just gonna make your fish a lot more game. You still got a little piece on there. So you don't even need to bear down on it. Sharp knives make the world go round. So do sword knives, little piece right here. And boom, we got a clean piece of tuna. And I'm just gonna put it on, this thing's already smoking right here, but I'm just gonna use sesame oil, I like sesame oil, and then put a little Cajun spice on it. I'm trying to just do something quick for lunch, but uh, it doesn't get much better than fresh elephant tuna. All right. That's going to be so good. I actually lied. I'm going to put some everything bagel seasoning on it. I know Trader Joe's has some really good stuff. This is the first time I've used this brand, but you got to put a lot on it because it's going to burn off. Oh, 
Whatever. <laughs> Doesn't take very long. I'm gonna keep it kind of rare in the middle. Somewhat rare. And this is gonna be really, really good. I'm so excited. And just like that, before we smoke the entire house up, wham, bam, thank you, ma'am. Quick and easy and delicious. Doesn't get much better than that. Now it's time to eat, baby. Woo. All righty, gang. Getting right into it. Trying to not mess up my gears that I'm cleaning out right now. Beautiful yellowfin tuna fillets. Little steak. Oh, yeah, it's perfect. Just like that. Ooh, that's the good stuff right there. Oh, you can see it. Can you smell it? Shout out to y'all, you Blue Gabe listeners. Can you smell it, folks? Mmm. It truly is very, very, very hard to beat um, really any kind of fresh tuna seared like this. It is, it is just unbelievable. There's very few fish that rival the flavor and just the the overall experience of eating seared yellowfin tuna it's pretty unbelievable but boys and girls thank you so much for watching if you liked it uh please subscribe i have a horrible subscriber to viewer ratio well i think like 90 percent of the people that watch my channel aren't subscribed so you might not be subscribed even if you think that you are you got to go down and turn that red button gray and press subscribe Mm -mm -mm. I mean, it just doesn't get better than this. It's just so simple. Like, by itself, it's still just amazing. Like, nothing added to it. You could eat this with no oil and no, like, seasoning or anything and still be amazing. But I'm going to finish this. Boys and girls, I love y'all. I'll see you next time. Goodbye. The video ends when you subscribe. That's how it works. You got to go scroll down and turn that red button gray. Press subscribe. When you subscribe, that's when the video will finally end. You haven't pressed subscribe yet. My food's getting cold. You better press subscribe. This is taking way too long.